Bowling tryouts for high school students is coming soon. The first tryout will be Monday, November 13th at Bees Bowling from 5.30 to 7 p.m. Another tryout will take place Tuesday, November 16th at Richmond Bowl from 4 to 5.30 p.m. The cost is $5. This game is you must have a sports physical on file tryout. A preseason basketball meeting will take place during lunch on Thursday, November 2nd. Coach Lovick and Bunch will be in the library during both lunch periods to hand out basketball information. Come join the Genesee basketball family regardless of past experience. Information regarding paperwork and tryouts will be discussed. There's a lot of good things happening around Genesee. Come be a part of it and help rejuvenate Genesee basketball. There will be a Red Cross blood drive in the Junior High Gym Friday from 7 a.m. to 2 p.m. There will be a choir concert Thursday at 7 p.m. in the Junior High Gym. Seniors should fill out their FAFSA now to see if they are eligible for financial aid for college. Daylight savings time is this weekend. Remember to set your clocks back an hour Sunday morning. There will be a National Junior Honor Society this Thursday at 7.20 a.m. in room 96. There will also be a National Honor Society meeting this Friday also at 7.20 in room 96. Resales will be discussed. Good luck to our quiz bowl team who will travel to New Lothrop this Wednesday to compete at 4 p.m. Senior class meeting after school in Ms. Moore's room. Hey girl, what is up? I heard the senior class is having a bake sale. No kidding, I love bake sales. Yes, yeah, so it's Friday during lunch. Sweetness is my weakness. Can't wait to check it out. Bake sale during, during lunch this, this Friday. Friday. Be, Be there. Food? I like food. <laughs> and I do too. <laughs> Joining us, we have witnessed an unbelievably well-fought match tonight, and it's come down to penalty kicks. Peterson for Yale, taking the first approach. Oh, oh it is. spectacular! North Carolina's goalkeeper Richards just let one in past him now, so now the burden rests on Yale's Scott Sterling. Here he comes, nerves of steel, that man, dealing with more pressure now than a submarine. <laughs> Indeed. Home crowd showing some appreciation. Johnson places the ball on the spot, getting ready. That man literally has a cannon for a leg. Yes, he does. Here he goes, winding up for the shot, and... Oh! The cannon has fired and hit Sterling directly to the face. We clocked that at a stunning 116 kilometers per hour. Now that's a lot of miles per hour. Little chance that man's nose is not broken right now. <laughs> oh, indeed. Now, Sterling getting checked out for that one. Spectacular save, though, but sadly, he's not out of the woods yet. On his feet now, a bit shaken. But not Sterling. <laughs> <laughs> this crowd absolutely loves this man. And Sterling's teammates welcome him back a hero for now. He yells up again for the second attempt, looking to make it 2-0. He approaches the ball with some determination. Here he goes. Oh! oh, it's high and wide, way off target. Yes, apparently he thought he was kicking a field goal. <laughs> Wrong kind of football, I'd say. <laughs> Good show. Back now to Scott Sterling. He looks a bit worse for wear, but ready for round two. And Shaw takes a moment. Here he goes with the approach. Oh! oh! Sterling with a fantastic dive. The ball flies straight through his hands and once again strikes him straight in the schnoz. And let's see it again on the old instant replay. Oh, every <laughs> excruciating <laughs> detail captured in HD perfection. Clocked at 129 kilometers per hour. Yeah, right. Sterling does not look well. Two wonderful saves and two definite concussions. They may replace him at this point. He's done all he can. Yes, as his trainer takes him off the field like a mustached lion dragging a gazelle through the Serengeti. Adieu, Scott Sterling. Adieu. Yale now with their third PK. Richens is in the goal, bouncing like an infant girl. The crowd holds their breath as he goes in 
Here it comes. Oh, oh, oh. very anticlimactic. Let's see who they got to replace Scott. Scott Sterling is back. He's still in the game. Oh my! And he's taking a very odd tactic now. Seems to be curling up to protect his face. Not exactly a recommended technique, but here it goes. Wait, no, no. Lambert needs to tie his shoe. Ho oh, ho! And that's why you do a double knot, kids. Sterling still waiting for the kick to happen. He's probably wondering when. Oh! Sweet butter crumpet! My The ball drills Sterling right in the face! That man's nose must be absolutely devastated! He's gonna look like a witch that blew her broom into her nose and then crashed into a hammer! I hardly even care about this attempt! Let's go back to Scott, Scott Sterling! The man! The myth! The, the legend! legend. Three perfect blocks by Sterling and his cat-like face reflexes! Absolutely incredible! Though I must say, Sterling does not look well at all. Well, well, you know football players like to add a bit of drama, don't they? They're gonna take him out. No, wait! They brought him a chair! Oh, a bold move by the manager! Hey. Bain sets up for the fourth attempt! And this, frankly, is a gimme! He literally just has to kick it anywhere except where Sterling is sitting. There is no possible way that North Carolina can mess up this shot. No! Oh! 158 kilometers per hour! This man can do no wrong! Look at him bend for mercy when it's mercy that should be begging for him! He has looked death in the eye and said, take your best shot! To which death replies by punching him in the face over and over and over again. If Yale makes this final shot, it's all over. But no! Oh, he misses, which means we're going to Scott, Scott Sterling! His face is like a brick wall. A brick wall that can feel pain and cries a lot. But where's Sterling? Oh, he seems to be crawling away from the goal. What is he doing? He's throwing away the bat! Oh! oh! Sterling has done the impossible! Oh! Incredible instincts to crawl away from the goal like that. And his teammates rush the field, happy as a lark as they slide in. <laughs> <laughs> a Bonini sculpture uh, of a finish. As his teammates carry him off on the stretcher of glory, <laughs> we thank you for sharing this absolutely heart-stopping finish. Scott Sterling and his face of steel have won it all.